right, you guys. Hey, it's Coach Fancy here. I'm going to be unboxing my mystery box from Defco Exchange, my monthly subscription box. Every month I come in here and I go live and I do a little tutorial telling you guys how to um, use what's in here. And it's really fun. It's like chopped kitchen for me. First things first, I'm going to put on a little bit of mesh. I love this mesh. It's really pretty, but... I think I'm gonna do this black and white though. Okay, here we go. It's very good. I'm probably just gonna do four. This is not very big. Just four easy, easy cruffles. Just to give it a little bit of oomph. And then let's really make our bow do the talk-in and that sign, because it's so cute. We're gonna start with four pipe cleaners and four cropples. And just that should, in my mind, get me where I need to be. So let's just check. And I'm just bundling up just a tiny little bundle of the stems, putting that pipe cleaner through. And I'm just gonna alternate colors. I'm making a quick cruffle where you curl in the edges and ruffle the rest together. <clears throat> Lovely. All right, so these pipe cleaners are only used for the mesh so we can actually just go ahead and trim the excess or you can always tuck it back around because you don't need to see it because you don't need to use it. Okay, and there we go. <laughs> I'm attaching this entire curly swirly right on up in here. Very good. Okay, and I think I'm gonna put one more blowing down. a good bend on the stem. Let's go ahead and have these dancing all the way through our design today. Lovely. Very good. These are, it says they're a sunflower. Me and Jordan both agree this is a daisy. <laughs> But this one has really fun polka dots and a black fuzzy center. I thought that this would really, really bring some vibrance and some pattern to this design today. So here we go. All right, I'm gonna do that times three. And here we go, just pull them all the way out. Have a good old time with them. So good bend on the stem and we're just gonna weave these into the direction of the grapevine. I'm gonna put one up at the top and then two at the bottom. This is kind of our flow here. Lovely. And last but not least, this cutie patootie. A Coobill. So fun. Okay. okay, so this is coming together nicely. Before I add anything else to it, uh, the smaller picks and stems, I wanna go ahead and get my bow settled and situated. I'm gonna just measure out a quick tail here walk it together. We're going to lay it back, make a loop from back to front, walk it together, set it right on top. Good hard twist. Repeat that, loop from back to front. Here we go. And I'm not going to cut these tails just yet. Okay. I'm going to try this in to make sure that it fits the area. Now it's not too big or too small and taking mind 
not to um, put it where uh, the tails and whatnot are going to be uh, overlapping our sign down here. Okay, so this is gonna pop in right up here. I love it, I don't think it's too big or too small. Very, very sweet. And, but I'm gonna go ahead and double up the loops just to kind of make it appear the size of a four inch ribbon, okay? So I'm gonna make another loop and I'm going to measure it. Look how this one is a little bit bigger than that short one. I want it the same size to really give that symmetrical appearance um, and width of like a four inch ribbon, right? Okay, so now good hard twist and we're gonna do the same to the other side. Loop from back to front, make sure that it looks like, here we go, a four inch ribbon. Okay. Awesome. I'm loving it. We just faked a four inch ribbon. Isn't that fun? Okay. Really fun. So let's do a loop of this, loop from back to front. We'll walk it together. We'll give it a good hard twist. Another loop from back to front. Lovely. Actually, I think I'm gonna call that the bow. I love it. I think it's super cute. So let me grab a zip tie. Loop it around the middle. Looking good. And now we'll grab another zip tie and put it through our wreath, not around the outside, but right through the middle. And then yes, yes, perfect. Okay. All right. So here we go. We've got our bow in. You know, I think it's so cute. Lovely. Okay. I was toying around with the idea of making a bow. I don't think I'm going to. I'm actually going to make these kind of short so that they're not going to get in the way of our sign in a moment. Put a nice little dovetail on them. And then we can have these back here a little bit longer so they can flow towards the back. Okay, I love it. All right, now it's time to add those whimsical picks and sprays in and around and through here uh, and get this whole thing livened up, all right? So that one in. I love adding the whole stem. How fun! Love. Put a good bend on that stem. Let's trim it up a little bit. We're always cutting these at an angle to make sure they go in just a little bit easier. Super fun. Now I'm gonna throw some of these in there because they're super also fun. This one though may be big, so I might chop this one into two where we have two and a three. So, and I'm also noticing just by nature it's slightly shorter and so is this one. So let me go ahead and pop these in and make sure that they're going to fit our areas and still be seen. So, throw a little lemon action up in here. 
the down and out. Very good. I'm going to just fill in those extra spaces, those negative spaces. And what's really fun is all of these, um, all of these stems are wired, so you can just really mold and make and bend and shape, put them wherever they need to go. There we go. Um, now I need to figure out exactly where I can um, balance it in and still read it. Okay, I love that. I can still see all of it. So that said, I'm going to kind of put my finger right back here and mark a spot where I know it butts up right to this good connecting branch. I'm going to grab a cable tie mount, which is a 3M product. I love them. They're super, super great. So go ahead. I also love that you can attach these up and down or side to side, just kind of depending on where that branch is, which is really nice. Okay, so this one needs to go up and down to get around that branch. Let me do it this way though. There we go. Our sign, still part of our design. Not off on an island with no friends. No, no. Part of the design. Now, go ahead and trim the excess back here. And now I'm going to take a look and see if I could use any more picks and sprays and fun. Um, I think that I can in here um, with these. Just a few little something somethings. And just pop these right on in. There we are. I love it. It's lemon. It's vibrant. It's fun. It's lively. Look at that. You guys, it's so cute. <laughs>